Part 6 of my SharePoint Basics series will be all about the quick launch as well as the navigation elements in um, your SharePoint site. Of course, I'm using SharePoint Online um, in this demo, but again, I want to remind you that uh, I want you to take the knowledge that you take from here and apply it to whatever version it is that you're working on. I know that the menus are different and the look and feel is different. Maybe the you know, site settings doesn't sit on the left anymore and uh, this doesn't sit on the right anymore. But if we learn to understand the basics of things and we can find our way, we won't struggle so much adopting new systems. So let's take a look at uh, changing our quick launch. So what is the quick launch? That's this little menu structure that you see on the left. Quick launch was also um, previously known as the left navigation or still known as the left navigation. And then of course you also get top navigation, which we are also going to cover quickly. If I go to the settings wheel and I click on um, site information, so when I go to site information, I'll see view all site settings there. We actually covered this in one of the previous video clips. So you don't see site settings in your drop down anymore. So when I go view all site settings, I'll then uh, notice on the settings page that there is a section for quick launch. So right here under look and feel, you'll see quick launch. So when I go to quick launch, I uh, have options of setting up the quick launch on my left hand side. You'll uh, in the next little uh, video series, when we start talking about creating apps, you'll see that you can actually select that an app um, displays on the quick launch when you create it. So normally these are created as I create apps and it shows recent items as well. So of course, here I can change um, what happens in my quick launch and I can also um, set up new links or change the order of it. So definitely not difficult to do. You can see there's a little pen there and a little book that you can click to edit. There's a new link that you can add, a new heading that you can add. So that means I can have uh, drop downs and headings, which is pretty cool. That, uh, as far as I remember, wasn't available before. We used to use uh, little hyphens or um, little uh, lines to actually uh, show an indent. So if I had to create a new heading, and uh, just as a test, we're going to call this um, awesome stuff. And I'm going to just use this link to my site actually just as that group heading so let's just go okay and then I can add a new navigation link as well so let's add a new link again I'm going to just use the same link and um, just to uh, to prove that we can see how this works indent and link and then I can choose under which grouping this must also sit so let's take a look at uh, how that will then look do you see that it allows um, a typical indent um, under the grouping, which is pretty amazing. We definitely didn't have that before. So now let's take a look at top navigation as well. Just so before we move away from this, I'm going to go back to the site settings. You'll see that as soon as I'm on the sub page, I can go into site settings from there. I'm going to go and then go to navigation elements. Now in navigation elements, I can switch off the quick launch so that that doesn't display anymore. I can even enable the tree view. So if I enable the tree view, it will um, show the logical site structure, so the physical way that the site is built on, um, on the left hand side. So you'll see as soon as there's little um, groupings, you can actually expand that further and it will show folder structures as well. This is also another way to allow for um, site navigation if it makes sense to do so. I'm just going to go back and switch on my left navigation again. So let's uh, switch on the quick launch again and then I'm going to quickly show you the top navigation. So on this uh, communication site, you can see that the top navigation shows there. That's actually also my um, quick launch. It just displays at the top. So if I go to site information and I go to view all site settings, if I then go and edit the quick launch, you'll see that that's actually the links that I've built out at the top. So there's all my links there. There's my groupings that I created. Um, there's the sub items below that. Of course, again, so I can change the order, which definitely helps me to move items up and down and to make sure that items stay alphabetical. So just to go back to the landing page, let's take a look at what that um, top navigation looks like. And there you can see that's uh, where I set up um, under quick launch um, in the communication sites. I can then set up, set up the top navigation because it doesn't display as a, a left navigation or as a quick launch. Um, I hope that helps you um, set up a better navigation of your site and to put uh, great links in place for your users to use.